So I'm going to disconnect as many hoses as I can that I can pull down through the floor. Hot as the darker hose of the two. And cold. Not sure why they got so many splices in this. I know this was for the pump, but this, gosh, this could have been done so much better. Okay, and this is the gas line for the hot water heater. Now, if I was to if I'm going to put this back in, I'm going to replace this with a flex hose gas line. That way it saves space? Yes, very much so, you see. Yeah, it's eating up. This would get kinked. See? that's a, That could be like a box of cereal. And when you're camping and you've got three kids, and possibly more, you know, you need every bit of storage space you can get. Okay. And then this wiring goes to it. That is... Yep. That is the water heater. I can undo that gas line right there. We have... Lock it all back up the gas. Okay, so here I am looking under the pop up at the hoses coming down through the floor. I'm checking out the configuration and taking some photos prior to the removal of the water heater. You know, that way, if I let Allie get her way, I can reference it for a real easy install. Also, I'm looking at the water tank and the cable pulley lift system so I know what needs to be removed and that the cables will be safe during the floor removal which here in about a week or so should have that video. There's some attachments loose so those can be pulled through the floor. And trim this. All this water is going to make me go pee. Okay, so let's get this moving along. As you can see, I'm just draining the water heater prior to removal and just detaching the rest of the hoses from the side panel. So you just took the screws out where? Of oh, the water heater, all the way around the trim. So the water heater, when it's done draining, still doing. So that wood is so soft underneath there. Soft? Yeah. Oh, the wood. Yeah. Well, we're doing what we have to do. To trim around and then pry it out. It's got some sticky gunk. And now, we got all the screws removed. Got the gas line taken loose. Got all the hoses, hot water and cold water hoses disconnected on the inside. And now, I'm just prying the wall for this. As you can see, I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to pry the side panel from the water heater that has that old bead tape between them. Real sticky, nasty stuff. Yeah, this is just going to make for easier removal. And she just slides right on out. And there's your drain. It's all rusted. There's no way I could have gotten that loose anyway.
I had stuff in this pocket and stuff in this pocket and I got up on the ladder and I was like choo 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 that was awesome. Alright. Is that your endorsement for cargo pants? Yes, well, for at least my job anyway, it worked out well. And I can get some different colors and uh, you know.